For those of you who are interested in JavaScript, HTML, CSS, combining all of that and creating interactive content, one question could be is how do I get that interactive content into my learning management system uh, in a way that makes it easier for me to manage and is also easy and useful to the students. One way to do this is using a product called jsfiddle.net and there is a whole collection of other products like this out there that do this type of thing. But basically what it lets you do is write some HTML content, some JavaScript and CSS, put all that together in a little package and then you can embed that package inside your content. Let's have a look at how all of that works. But first of all, before we do that, check out the courses on the Moodle LMS and other learning management system courses that I have below in the description. Uh, there's also some information on creating interactive content in there, which will be relevant, relevant for you if this is what you're interested in. I've got here a fiddle or a JS fiddle that creates an interactive activity for students who are looking at uh, current resistance and voltage calculations. Pretty much all it does, if I choose run up in the top left corner, it creates this area here where I can press new question and it randomly generates the current and the resistance or the voltage and the current or whichever. It jumps around depending on what it randomly chooses. But you have to, as a student, come up with what the answer is based on voltage, resistance and current. So if we know what the voltage and the resistance are, we should be able to work out what the current is. If we know what the current and resistance are, we should be able to work out the voltage. We put the answer in there. Um, whatever our answer is, we select check, check answer and it will tell you whether it's correct or incorrect. That's what it does. There's the HTML that creates the activity. There's the JavaScript that's used to make that activity work and a little bit of CSS to run in there in the background. But how do we get that into our learning management system? Really, really simple. We just go to embed. We can decide whether they can see all the JavaScript and HTML. Now, if you are teaching JavaScript, HTML, CSS, this is really useful because you can show them all the code that makes it all work or you can hide the JavaScript, the HTML and the CSS and just show the result. Leave all the rest of it as it is and all I have to do is select this little script here from the embed code, this little bit. I can use an iframe if you prefer and in some cases that's probably more useful. So I'm going to switch that to iframe, copy that code, go back to our course, go to settings into our HTML, inside the HTML, I'm just going to add in here that little bit of script. So it's 100% wide by 300 high. I can change that to 400, which I will do just for the purpose of this. Then if I choose save and display, the student will now get that little activity. It still has JS Fiddle up here, but it allows them to create a new question and put in their answer, whatever their answer is, check answer, tells it if it's correct or incorrect based on using that JS fill. Now, a couple of advantages of this. One is if there's a problem in the code with how I calculated this out, I won't have to go back into the course into all the different places I've embedded this little activity. I just go to the fiddle and I edit the fiddle in here, uh, edit the JavaScript or the HTML, change it here, save it, and it all stays, it all updates over here. So really, really useful to be able to have that type of thing. Now there's, there is heaps of other products that do this. Remember I said that if you are teaching JavaScript or HTML, and let's say you are teaching this, I could instead in embed choose HTML and JavaScript as well. And I'm going to embed that instead. And when I go to embed now, I'll go to settings, I'll replace the HTML that's in here with this one and it's still an iframe. And when I save it, you'll see now that the student can look at the JavaScript to see how it's created. They can look at the HTML that goes in it and they can check out the result. And above that, I may have all the description about how that JavaScript works, how that HTML works and what the result is. Again, really simple and clever way of embedding something interactive in your content or of teaching JavaScript HTML based content inside your learning management system. Have that's been useful, check out the courses. There's actually a couple of courses in there on creating interactive content using JavaScript HTML, and I believe I actually use JS Fiddle for some of that teaching as well. So jump in, have a look. I'm Chris Richter. Talk to you soon.